My pleasure, my or again evil career with the nice to see Cambri. He cross our hike, yeah, gonna have it on. It's my great pleasure as um, uh, chair of Nice to see to welcome you here to this uh, conference, Learning for a Better World. Uh, we have some significant challenges facing us uh, within uh, within Europe, and I'm so pleased that there are 13 nations, 14 including Wales, uh, here today to. Um, take part in this conference and to help us to uh, arrive at some solutions for these um, challenges. The empowerment bit comes first because I believe and we believe in NIACE that you can't be kind of participating fully in society unless you have learning. You can't be a citizen, you can't fulfil your talents, you can't help your children, you can't have a decent job, you can't have prospects, you can't go through life enjoying and, and, and being healthy and well, unless you have a, a sense of being able to learn. We should care for the demo democracy, we should care for the outreach, we sh should care for each individual, and we should care for the culture. But there is so much that is gained by the community from the learning process, so much more than can be narrowly quantified, and I am very worried that as far as the Treasury are concerned, it's only if you can actually quantify it and put numbers on it. And yet the, what is gained in terms of well-being in the community is so great. From We don't want exams and a certification. What they want is write and read, as they said. So where can we do that? So we... Uh, we, we, we find in under the chair, under the church, a little space where we could put seven people together and that's where they're working, that's where they're re writing and reading. Hello, my name is Miracle Yamova. I'm state expert at the Ministry of Education and Science in Bulgaria. I'm here for the first time uh, in this uh, conference. Uh, with my colleague, we very glad uh, to be here and to discuss about the main point of uh, adult learning because uh, it is uh, our common problems, uh, especially at the time of economical crisis, especially at the uh, time of uh, demographic problems. And well, there's a lot of work to be done around the new program for lifelong learning, which may be called Erasmus for All. There are some problems with it, but there are also some opportunities. And if we start building our networks now, this time next year, perhaps when we meet in Edinburgh, we'll be able to firm them up and develop some projects and partnerships. I really think that uh, ploughing our own furrow is not the way forward. And, you know, when I was first looking at the sector, I thought how unjoined up it actually is. Um, and we don't make it easy for people to progress um, either way, from a college back to a WA course or from the WA into a college course. Uh, uh, it was a really inspiring event uh, because I could uh, observe how the different issues relating to adult learning are discussed here and it is very much something we c I can bring home uh, to learn about how do you discuss things. And, and the great thing about adult learning, I think, is that it can challenge those conceptions that people have. It's an opportunity for people to um, revisit the, the way they think about themselves and to begin to make changes for themselves. And um, hopefully that can spin over into the wider world and their families and the communities that they live in. Sorry about this. This is my platform. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can all do this. I mean, let's face it. This, this you can all learn. You, you're getting the best from me. Yeah, that's good that you know how I learned numeracy? On the dartboard. I learned to play darts, and the only reason they'd allow me on that dartboard was if I scored. And I think as a result of this conference, we, we can't afford just to leave it in the air now. It's fired up so much enthusiasm and so much momentum for, for people to take adult community learning further. Yeah, and I was um, really impressed by the, the quality of the participant, the accuracy of the analysis, and yeah, it was a, a good way to see the good practices in UK and how we can um, take it and uh, implement it in France. And to come and meet with other adult learners and uh, activists was just an absolute thrill and delight and 
it's all about building collaboration, which is one of the core things that I believe in in leading my organisation. So it was lovely to hear that from others as well. Um, hi, I'm Margaret, Margaret Allen. I'm from um, Scotland. I'm with the National Learners Forum. Um, I found the conference very interesting today and um, um, over the last couple of days. And I'm looking quite a few good ideas to take back with us and um, we're already in preparation for the conference in Edinburgh. I look forward to seeing everyone. Brilliant, okay. I'm Tracy Waddle, I work for Scotland's Learning Partnership and I also found the conference extremely interesting over the last two days. The workshops uh, were very well attended and I thought that they were um, very informative for me in my practice as well as everything else and also like Margaret I want to take some of the information for the next conference which we will be doing in Edinburgh very much with a learner's um, influence in that and we even tweeted for the first time with the very National Learners time. Forum yes. today so we're actually feeling pretty good. <laughs>